Hey guys, what's up? Ashley here, it's day number 156 of Giggling. Welcome back to another edition of Confessions of a Giggler. That's me, I'm your giggler. <laughs> here we are. Um, so I feel like I'm a little bit of a disaster right now because uh, my hair is all over the place, but I'm getting, I'm going to get it done. I feel like I haven't brushed it in days, but whatever, it's fine. Um, these pieces, like, they really kill me. Uh, I, I don't know what to do with them. I feel like, um, what's his name? Uh, Doc, Doc Brown with these pieces. <laughs> Marty McFly. Um, no, Marty McFly was put together. Doc Brown was the disaster. Um, so, yeah, that's not what I was here to talk about. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm just, I just finished up work and now I'm heading on my way to get my hair done. Um, oh boy, there's a lot of cars, a lot of cars coming. So I'm going to pause for a second. Okay, I had to pause because I don't like, like, that angle of my, like, <laughs> looking out the window, whatever. Um, so what do I want to talk about? Okay, so I do have some further further observations of the Big Time Rush new album. Um, so I still love it. It's still, <coughs> it's still fantastic. Um, but I do because my first, when I first talked about it, I, I just listened to it just that one day. And now that we've had it for just about a week now, um, you know, I've, it's settled in some more. Uh, this is not going to be a really long post because I mean, like, all I'm going to say, spoiler alert, is that I still really, really love it. <laughs> but I do have some, some, whatever, adjustments. So, remember, I'm not sure if you remember or not, but I said, oh, that song, um, the party song, Party All the Time, um, it sounds like that song that Lou used to sing all the time. <laughs> party all the time, party all the time, um... <laughs> And it turns out that it is. It is that song that Lou used to sing all the time. Um, so it is an Eddie Murphy cover. It's not um, a Big Time Rush original. Uh, so, so yeah. So I didn't. I didn't know that they were covering anything on this album, which is fine because honestly, I've never heard like the real original version. I've only ever heard Louis sing it, and it's a. a it's an Eddie Murphy song, so he sings it. So he's like, yeah, I mean, Eddie Murphy sang it just like I sang it. <laughs> it's like, okay, well, they don't sing it like that. <laughs> he's, he's like, I was like, no, it's really, it's really good. It's a really fun song. Um, so yeah, like, uh, basically every single song on the album, I like even more now than I did last week. I've, I've listened to it a lot. I've listened to it in the car. I've listened to it on my TV because like when I'm working, I listen to it um, in my headphones. Um, so, and there was a, there was an interview a while back. I don't, I don't remember what interview it was, but in that interview, Kendall said something like, um, make sure that you listen to it with your headphones on. And I was like, okay, sure. <laughs> I mean, I would because I listen at, if I'm at work, if I'm in the office, then yeah, I have to put my headphones in. Um, but he was right. Make sure you listen to it with your headphones on. Like, wow. It like, not that it like makes a huge difference, but there are definitely like bits and pieces that you can like, it just gives it a, a, a fuller sound and it's just, it really is really very good. <laughs> Like, I honestly, I don't know if I've been this excited about an album and, like, this, like, yes, every single song is just perfect since Happy Mistakes, honestly. Um, I mean, the O-Town album that came out most, I mean, like, there's one song on there that I'm, like, meh about, so it's mostly really good, and then, like, DNA, um... I mean, I would say it's about middle of the pack for my Backstreet Boys songs, I, probably. So, yeah, like, yeah, I haven't been, like, this excited. Also, like, with the O-Town album, like, we knew all those songs before the album came out. So it's not like, 
it wasn't like just this plethora of new music just being dumped on us. Um, so yeah, so uh, oh town. I mean, big time rush. <laughs> like, it's just really, really good, and I'm just so happy for it. Um, it's just like every song has, like I said, every song has grown on me. Um, and not that it started, like, none of them started out bad. Like, I did not like any of the songs. I loved all the songs. But, like, I somehow love them more now after listening to them constantly for the week. Um, yeah. So, <coughs> um, sorry, uh, the smoke out here, man. I, I was not, I was not expecting it to, uh be bothering me so much <laughs> wow um yeah but I just I just really like 10 out of 10 recommend this album and I know like I know that I just talked about it and I know that um you know people want a variety of content from me because that's what I do I'm a I do variety of things <laughs> and yeah so I, I don't know I'm just really I'm just really like obsessed with this album right now basically is what I'm saying <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'm about to stop at Wawa to get a sandwich because I need to eat something before I go and get my hair done because my hair will take uh, three hours at least. So we're stopping at Wawa. Um, yeah. What else did I need to say? I feel like there was something else specific about the album that, um, I would like to say and then I forgot hmm oh yes I do remember I I can't wait to like get a physical copy of it so I can I might have said this already but I would like to see the writing credits and see who wrote what because there are definitely some songs that I'm like oh this has a Logan vibe or this has a Kendall vibe like um like ask you tonight has Kendall written all over it like there's if if he didn't write that song I would be shocked shock 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 definitely a Kendall song um so yeah uh, so I, I'm kind of curious to see what else what other what other writing credits there are and I'm sure it's out there but like do I feel like searching for it no nah, not really <laughs> I'll wait until I have the album then I can open it up and look myself um so yeah, I'm just like really, I'm really in love with this album. And like I find, like I find that these songs get stuck in my head so easily and I find myself singing them all the time. And like they're just really like happy, positive songs. And like just like what you come to, what you've come to know and love from Big Time Rush. But like just so much better. Like so much better. Because it's, they're not like, because they're not restricted by the TV show anymore. Like they don't have to like pick songs like oh well, well how will this song fit into an episode like they could just have any song on there and it will be great and uh, you know I'm just like it's just really it's so good it's so good and I think everyone should download a copy and listen to it at least once and you'll be like yeah that was good that was good good job Big Time Rush um <laughs> And then come see a show or two this summer. I'm I'm sure that I really hope that they sing all of these songs. I know that they said that they weren't going to, and that really makes me sad. But like, I want for them to sing them all. <laughs> like, please sing every song. Um, and yeah, <laughs> because. I'm like, it's only, the whole track time is only a half hour. So, like, you can fit that in. You can fit that in. If you need to cut Oh Yeah, cut Oh Yeah and <laughs> sing all of these songs. Like, I will be, I'm telling you this right now. I will be very mad if Oh Yeah is in the, in, in the set list and more than two songs from this, from Another Life has, have gotten cut. Like, I will be very upset. Very, very upset. Because, come on guys the quality of oh yeah compared to any song on this album like you gave the people any kind of guy last year great let them have that we don't need oh yeah i i will we don't need oh yeah so 
It's more like, oh no. <sighs> anyway, that's going to be it for me for today. And uh, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Love you. Bye.